Hey guys, welcome back. I want to do a review today that covers the Walther PPQ and the Glock 19. These are two very similar sized handguns. Um, Glock 19 is notoriously the most purchased handgun in the United States for concealed carry and in general. Uh, but the Walther PPQ is right up there um, with the same size and, and uh, dimensions, caliber, all those things. They're both striker fired pistols and they both are fantastic weapons. Uh, but I wanted to do a little head to head with them just to kind of show what the differences are and similarities. Uh, stick around, we'll do it on the tabletop in a second. Alright, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a look at the two of them now side by side on the tabletop. We'll go through a little bit about each of the uh, guns, what they have in common, uh, what some of the differences are, and uh, let you kind of go from there on which one you like better. Um, then I'll kind of give you my opinion at the end of which way I like, uh, but we can touch on that here in a second. So first let's run through the Walther PPQ. This is a striker fired handgun. Uh, it does have uh, no external safety. Uh, the safety is here within the trigger. It is drop safe. Um, this model does have nice slide serrations, both front and back. So you get them on the rear and the front on both sides. They're very deep, uh, well cut. Uh, the only real difference is on this side you'll have the Walther uh, logo embedded in there where you'll lose a little bit of the slide serration. Uh, but you're not really losing much there at all. You can get them very easily. Uh, next you got the magazine release. Again, this is the Walther PPQM2. This has the slide release for your thumb now. So that's a thumb release and it's ambidextrous. So you can swap that to either side. The slide release is also ambidextrous and it's a big slide release. It's very easy to grasp, uh, very easy to drop. Uh, it's got a lot of leverage on it, easy to get. Um, it does protrude a little bit more than you'll see on the Glock, uh, but it is very nice. Um, it does it, the serrations on it very well. Um, like I said, that long lever seems like it drops very easily when you're doing reloads. Uh, grip texture on the Walther is uh, it's very nice texturing. Um, it's more of a rubbery type feel, but not really rubbery. It's hard to explain, uh, but it does have a lot of different serrations in it to give you texture. Um, all around the front strap and the back strap. It does come with multiple back straps you can swap out uh, to fit your liking. Um, does have a, a little bit different uh, grip with that larger hump in the back. There are some uh, finger grooves in here but they're less pronounced than you'll see on the Glocks. Um, and it does have some swells in here as well for your fingers to kind of ride into. Uh, but the, all in all, it's a very nice grip. It's not going to slide around out of your hand or anything like that. Uh, the sights are plastic sights, uh, but they are uh, windage and elevation adjustable on the PPQ. Um, on the rear sight, front sight just a front dot, and they are three dot sights. The trigger on the PPQ is fantastic. Um, it does have a, a safety latch there in the middle of the trigger. And then the takedown is very similar to a Glock with these little takedown levers. It allows you to slide them in and pop them out. The magazine for the Walther is a 15 round magazine. Again, it's 9 by 19 and it's all steel construction. Um, I li really like this red follower that comes in there. Very easy to see. Um, and you'll see that the, the base is a little bit different than the Glock when we take a look at it but it does marry up nicely with the bottom of the grip. Uh, both of these also have uh, capture recoil springs. Uh, as far as the Glock now, uh, again no external safeties on the Glock. You do have slide serrations but they're uh, only in the rear of the slide. They are very good serrations. They've been proven and tested. They're very easy to grip and uh, they do their job. You're just not getting them on the front. Some of the newer models uh, when you look at Gen 5s, you'll start to see some of those things pop up. Now as far as the Glock, you do have the push button magazine release here. This is not interchangeable, so you're stuck with your right hand only magazine release. You get your slide release here, again not ambidextrous, only on the left hand side. Um, and it does 
release fairly easily as well. Uh, but it's very, very low profile. A lot slimmer than, you'll, than you saw on the PPQ, uh, but it does work very well. And again, not ambidextrous. Uh, the grip texture on this, now this is a Gen 3 model, so we're going back a little bit. Uh, but the Gen 3 model does have um, some slight texturing on, on the sides, uh, a little more aggressive texturing on the finger grooves and on the back strap. Uh, but if you look at the Gen 4 models, uh, the texturing on that is a little bit nicer, more comparable to the Walther PPQ. Uh, it does have interchangeable back straps on the Gen 4 as well. So uh, if you're looking at Gen 4, size wise, you're going to be the same. You'll just have some of those little differences on that as well. Uh, the Gen 4 will give you the uh, magazine release that is swappable um, as long as you're using the Gen 4 magazines. Um, it does have the trigger safety as well on the trigger. Uh, the sights are plastic as well, uh, give you more of that you know, teacup type sight. Um, put your dot between the goalposts and you've got a sight picture. Uh, take down, very similar again, little levers here. Pull it back slightly and you can. Release those and it'll release. Um, and this it does have a captured rear coil spring inside. Now the magazine's a little different. Uh, this is a plastic magazine, though they are proven and they work tremendously well. Uh, the feed lips on it are, are all metal, very solid. Uh, the followers are great um, and the base plates work tremendous. Now they will protrude a little bit more out of the bottom of the grip, as we'll see here in a little bit. I want to talk about the overall fit and finish. Um, I believe that the Walther PPQ is a little bit finer in the um, fit and finish than the Glock. Uh, you know, the curvature, the the slide cuts, uh, just the fitment of everything is a lot cleaner on the Walther, um, and the Glock is more blocky and uh, less refined, more of that uh, working man's handgun. Uh, but it's proven. I mean, it just goes to show that. Uh, all those tight tolerances and all those things that a lot of other guns try to strive for, Glock has kind of walked off that path a little bit and given it a ton of reliability because of that. When we talk about differences between the two of them, uh, first thing that comes up is the sights. Even though they're both plastic sights um, and they're a little bit different in their type, one is a goal post type, one is a three dot sight, um, but PPQ also has the um, adjustment so you can adjust that sight both for windage and elevation. Um, if you look at the Glock sight, you're only going to get windage sliding back and forth, though both sights are very easy to swap out if you want to pick up a third-party type of sight to put in. Um, I may have mentioned it already, but the Gen 3, again, your magazine release is only on the right-handed. If you want to go to left-handed, you've got to go to the Gen 4 model or do some serious mods inside it to make it work. Um, as far as the uh, slide release, um, they're a little bit different, but they both function very well. Um, like I said earlier on my M&P, that slide release is more of a slide catch for me than it is a slide release. These will both release the slide very easily if you're doing a reload um, and dropping that slide with the slide release, it works very good. Serrations, obviously, another difference. You're going to see the front side serrations on the Walther, but the Glock 19 only has them in the rear. They're both very good slide serrations, so you're not going to have any problems with either one of them. Uh, the one other thing on the PPQ, when it comes down to the trigger guard, it is a little bit bigger trigger guard, which is nice if you're wearing gloves or something like that. It's cold outside. Obviously, you're not going to be wearing huge gloves, but smaller hand gloves will fit a little bit nicer inside the Walther. Uh, the PPQ just has that bigger uh, trigger guard. As far as the triggers themselves, that's really where the PPQ sets itself apart. It is a fantastic trigger. The Glock is no slouch. I mean, any of the polymer style handguns are all going to have very similar triggers. To, to compare them is, is very difficult um, until you start to get the third party changing them out. But stock triggers, they're all a little bit plasticky, a little bit gummy. Um, but <clears throat> for what they are, they're not we're not competition shooting with these triggers so they're all very good triggers but when you look at the PPQ the trigger on this is amazing if you do that reset if you look at that there's a little bit of take up but man that trigger is 
so light, easy to go right through it. But the PPQ trigger is amazing. When you reset that and you bring that trigger back and it hits that wall right there, there's a little bit of take up, but once it hits, it's there and it's crisp. It just drops like a hammer and it's beautiful. Um, and the reset on that, right there, nice and audible. And then where that reset is, you're at the wall already. It just Damn, it's like a single action trigger almost. Beautiful trigger for a, uh, a polymer striker fired pistol. Um, it's also a little bit lighter than your Glock, but when it comes to a polymer striker fired, obviously PPQ takes the, <laughs> takes the cake on all of them that are out there. So uh, that is the huge uh, strength of that Walther PPQ. Now let's take a look at the size comparisons a little bit. Um, they are very, very close in size. So when you take a look at these, you're not going to see a huge difference. If I put up the beaver tails together, you're going to see a slight edge in length for the PPQ. Uh, for concealed carry, you're not going to notice that very much at all. With and the thickness of the, of the gun, PPQ's got it a little bit wider again, but only by a hair. Uh, nothing you're really going to notice by carrying day to day. Uh, grips are all about the same as well. Nothing there that's going to jump out at you that's going to make you say these two are too different or the Glock 19 is far easier to carry. Now when we put the magazines in we'll see a little bit of change here. So if we put these top to top we look at the bases of them they are very similar. When you don't have that magazine in the Glock, it looks as if the Glock is a lot uh, smaller in the grip or a lot shorter. But once you put those magazines in, you see the difference it is not very much at all. Now, obviously the Glock sticks out a little bit more, um, that classic Glock style. The PPQ is a little more fit into the grip to give you that molded and that undercut there where you get your pinky on there and it really helps you hold on there nice and tight. So I guess at the end of the day uh, they're very similar handguns. As far as a carrying option they're very similar. Uh, as far as shooting very similar. Um, now where Glock really tends to shine um, is on your aftermarket accessories. If you want to change the sights, if you want to change the trigger, if you want to mag extensions, if you want a different slide release different magazine release, different barrel, all those things you're gonna find a ton of different options on the Glock. They've been around and they're highly changeable. I mean you can fit the Glock to whatever you want it to be. Now the PPQ, if you're happy with what you have stock, you may be able, I mean you're gonna be able to change the sights out a little bit. Base plates are gonna be more difficult to find. Trigger groups are gonna be different a little bit more difficult to find, though it does have an amazing trigger right off the bat. So there are some things that make them a little bit different. And those aftermarket accessories really can make a difference in how you want to carry sometimes. So at the end of the day, I love the PPQ. I think it's an amazing firearm. And actually, I like it more than I like the Glock. But I carry the Glock because it's easier. Um, if I want to change anything on it, I can. If I want an extended plate, um, I have a Glock 17. I can use my Glock 17 magazines in my Glock 19. Um, so I can carry spare magazines with a higher capacity. Um, it, it's overall more utilitarian. Whew, that was a tough one. It's overall just a little bit easier to, to work around. If you want to make the changes, the ability to do that with the Glock is far outweighs what you can do with the PPQ. So I like them both. I, <laughs> I'm looking to maybe get rid of the PPQ. I've had it for a, quite a while now. I love it, but I have two guns to do the same thing, and I don't know if I need that, um, but it's just so hard to get rid of it because aesthetically it's a beautiful handgun. They've done a great job with it. It's not cookie cutter. It's not blocky. Um, it's just a fantastic gun. So that's just a quick rundown of the two uh, polymer striker fire pistols, the Walther PPQ M2 and the Glock 19, obviously it's the Gen 3 model, uh, but would work for a lot of the Gen 4, and we covered a little bit of that in in the video. Um, again, just as a recap, uh, fantastic pistol. 
another fantastic pistol. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Um, if I had to make my choice at the end of the day, it's going to be the Glock 19, only because of the accessories that you can get after the fact. If you're just looking for a bedside gun, uh, something to carry, and this is what you're going to keep, and you're not going to do anything to it, then this is a fantastic pistol. Um, so, you can't go wrong either way. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe if you really enjoyed this. And we'll talk to you again soon. Happy shooting.